Hey YouTube, this is uh, 50 Plus Life 360. We are here, Paul and I, at Super Deals RVs in Anniston, Alabama. One of the cheapest places to buy an RV or camper in uh, Alabama. This is what their selection looks like. It's several rows of RVs. Mostly tow behinds. They probably got some fifth wheels over in the back that we haven't seen. But take for example this Coleman. This is like uh, 3,000, 2,960 pounds. So that's way beyond our capacity with our current vehicle. It's 21 foot. Kind of cool looking retro they got that little 50 style logo and black and red and white color scheme oh that's retro look at that i'm just going to show you this because it's kind of interesting it's got the black and white checkered diner tile with the 50s car themed seats quite ropey Little accents over the windows. But still has a microwave. So it's not that retro. A couple little bunks. Full bathroom. Nice. Little fan. Subway type tile. I don't know if that's real tile. Nope plastic board design like that it's kind of neat but this floor tile kind of makes you busy in the head dizzy busy whatever you want to say and we actually in our attic at our home have this floor tile and it kind of our attic's a huge space it's an upstairs room it's not an attic but it's upstairs that we don't use and it is huge it's three quarters of the length of our home and width of our home and when you walk around up there you get a little discombobulated so to speak a little out of sorts oh I didn't shut the door Ibex Aspen Trail Starcraft I haven't seen an Ibex myself. I just let's see. It's uh, nice steps. This is nice. Got an upgraded sink. pot filler nice stainless appliances a couple of bunks with a ladder I have to do some research on Ibex to see what, what they've got that's kind of a thin like quarter inch sheet of plywood which the feet would be down this end so it wouldn't be taking a lot of weight a lot of storage. TV comes with it. I'm sure this is your bathroom. Mm -hmm. Nice big shower. Toilet. It's pretty nice. Here's some of the standard Ibex features. You get a standard 190 watt solar panel with a 2000 watt inverter. Now I know a lot of people like I have close to at least 300 watt solar panel so you'd probably have to put another 100 watt in series to get you close but I mean, that's the ibex that's pretty nice the autumn ridge i think that is made by uh, let's see i've already forgotten 
Starcraft, yep. And these these are upgraded, they come with your propane cover. And a power jack. Starcraft, we had a Starcraft boat several years ago and it was really good quality. They have a Starcraft used model that I didn't record because it's a little dated but very inexpensive on the lot. I'm trying not to look at the used ones really too much. But yeah, Starcraft usually pretty good quality. We enjoyed the boat for the few years we had it. And I'm sure this folds down and that snaps down at your bed. Plenty of storage. Nice big sink. Black appliances. Cabinet covered fridge and freezer. This is very similar to one that we stayed in as an Airbnb. We tried the RV lifestyle for for one uh, night or two just to see what it was like. There's a couple that had built an RV park in center Alabama, and then they placed a few RVs on there and they rent them out as Airbnbs and we got in a pinch we were traveling up towards Chattanooga and points north Fort Payne and things like that and we we decided we didn't want to drive all the way back to south of Birmingham so we got an Airbnb for the night and stayed in one very very similar to this not exactly but about this size But that's your StarCraft for you. I really, really enjoyed the StarCraft boat. I just don't know if the, or at least I enjoyed the quality of the StarCraft boat. I'm not a big boater, but uh, I just don't know if the StarCraft RVs are quite as high quality or not. I'd have to research that as well. We're just in the beginning stages of our RV van travel life and this is kind of interesting this is i'm gonna have to look and see if this is a price looks like it's new but it looks like another retro this looks like some of the mobile homes when i was growing up as a kid yeah it's a retro another retro by riverside this one doesn't look like it's themed as a 50s this looks like this would be a 70s theme we can just glance inside of here and just see what the theme is. Eh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe still 50s. Well, you saw a lot of these colors like this in the. I can see this as a Chevrolet type color, Ford. My dad had a Chevy stepside pickup that was. Uh, 1960 something 66 it was about that color seafoam blue green whatever you want to call it this one's needed so you can put your tv here sleep back behind the wall for a little bit of privacy from the kids who are going to be in the bunk or grandkids in our our case and here you got a nice full bathroom little skylight over the tub give you more light there's a light here but I don't think there's any in there so you have to rely on the, on the skylight so you probably to make sure you got good and clean you'd have to shower during the evening hours when there's still daylight outside instead of climbing in there at night plenty of storage Nice little air conditioner control. I don't know. That's a maybe that puts out a lot, but that looks like a small vent for just this unit. I don't see any other venting. Well, maybe, maybe that is like that deep little hexes sign on the valance. Yeah, it's another retro. Again, the subway tiles. 
don't know. I just always see this kind of colored green. Maybe I'm mistaking it with the... What was that other green color? Tell me in the comments. Um, harvest gold and some kind of green that was really prevalent in the 70s. But maybe the reason I saw this color so much on mobile homes growing up was because they were left over from mobile homes that still existed from the 50s, late 50s, early 60s. And I grew up in the late 60s, so that color just sticks in my head. Yeah, we getting through it's an aspen trail that's really nice that's a rear door trail runner another starcraft yeah you do have a few fifth wheels over here we're not quite there yet looks like about the only thing that they have on the lot that really fits our needs at this moment is is the uh, first couple that I showed you when we, that we're inside the building. There's a beacon and a landmark, fifth wheel, 365, Catalina, tow behind, trail runner, Starcraft, Avenger, MPG Ultralight. Mm -hmm.